Hey, we're Hanson, and hey, we're gonna answer some of your questions. Oh, yeah. Do you play Umbop at every show, and then 25 years later, do you ever get sick of it? That's sort of two questions. Double but, question. Uh, first part, no. Second part, no. Boom. Okay, well, that was easy. If you could collaborate with anyone, if you could collaborate with anyone, who would it be? Uh, Billy Joel. Yeah. Oh. There we go. It's there we great, have it. It's a great yeah. answer. That one's not that interesting. <laughs> what is your pre-show routine? Now, one thing I will tell people, do not eat high carb food <laughs> before going on stage. You're just rice, it's a no-no, no, no it Indian you food, up, makes you, feel buffy, you don't want chili, sleepy. chili, spicy food, you're gonna be like getting spicy burps. Uh, it's gross. You guys have been playing now for 25 years. Well, actually 30 years, but 25 since our first record. What is the biggest change growth in your sound mm. on Red, Green, Blue? So I think this record is a really good way for people to kind of see the band on an artistic level in a different way uh, because each one of us did basically approach a third of the record like it was a solo record and that element I think definitely pulls out different influences in a way that other records haven't. How do you balance being a musician and a parent? Mm. Uh, how do you balance being a musician and a parent? I don't know whether there is such thing as balance. Uh, I was going to say in how that do you, particular area I think you, you embrace I think becomes, the imbalance. What can fans expect on the upcoming tour? Will you play old songs along with new songs? We like to think of it as if we were coming to somebody's show, what would we want to hear? And yeah. if we're going to see Billy, Billy Joel, we hope he'll play Piano Man. You know, I, you know even Dreams, more like, you know, I mean, for me, I'm kind of a, you know, tell her about it kind of guy. Yeah. Who are your biggest musical influences? The first music that really made us want to play was early rock and roll. It was uh, Otis Redding and Ray Charles and, you know, Chuck Berry, Chuck Berry and, and Little uh, Richard, and Rita Franklin. And, Jackson 5. Jackson yeah, 5. Somebody said, what was the best decade for music? And it's pretty much hands down the 60s. Yeah. Uh, if you say something else, you're wrong. And yeah. uh, I'm willing to fight you over it. Yeah. Uh, I'll meet you. High noon. Zach will actually. Main Street. We'll, we'll do it out. We're going to have sort of like a, a spoon contest where you hold it on your nose and whoever can go the furthest wins. Yeah. Wow. I'm really good at holding spoons. Okay. Zach is going to have a spoon off uh, with you. <laughs>